Welcome to the series uh, How to Grow Orchids and Make Orchid Growing Easy. So, this, in this series, I will uh, cover the subject of potting medium or planting medium because you have a pot, you need a medium inside the pot basically uh, to hold the plants mainly. So the medium, because it is soilless, we don't put soil in the pot and there is no uh, elements of uh, that the food of the plant is in the medium. So basically all this material is either neutral or they don't uh, actually uh, contribute. So there are several type of uh, material that you can use as a medium. There is no fixed type or characteristic of any uh, potting medium. But here I have the more common one. And the most common one is the charcoal. You know the, the arang kayu, the charcoal. As you can see there, the black. And this is a wood charcoal. Not so does barbecue cubes that look like charcoal, please. Uh, because this uh, broken uh, charcoal pieces are actually so neutral that they remain neutral and they don't contribute to any problem with the microorganism or any other factor. So they are actually very convenient and very easy to obtain in the nursery everywhere. You can do yourself to break, do it yourself to break the charcoal by the charcoal block, uh, the, the, you know, the wooden charcoal and then uh, break it down into small pieces. Okay. Then you have the bricks. Brick is uh, from house brick and then you break it down into uh, some job uh, required for you to break the bricks. They are a bit heavier than the charcoal, but you don't need very small pieces. I tell you why. Because it's not easy to break these uh, bricks into small pieces. Uh, they are actually also medium for a root uh, to anchor and then you have uh, also very popular called the stone or whatever you call it uh, inside brick you have this stone eh? which is also can be used as medium a bit more heavier than the rest but for those uh, growing specialized orchid, especially wild orchid. So they have to know not just brick, charcoal and stone, but they have to know other type of uh, medium, coconut husk, example here, and, and the most famous, sphagnum moss. This is moss. This is different from, very different from coconut husk, totally different. Because this is a, a plant actually, uh, grown uh, in the high mountains, and the rocks especially and then they are very good at moisture absorption 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 so how do you know that which media is suitable for your orchid uh, I, I would just make one statement uh, you just use charcoal for many reasons later on you don't have to worry about uh, looking for bricks buying bricks breaking bricks even stone so it's not available sometimes in houses you may have to I don't know how you're going to get uh, pieces uh, in large number okay just concern on charcoal uh, you can use charcoal 100 percent and then transfer your small plant later on later on will show you not this series will show you how to plant the kiki you know so because normally why you need the bigger pot is to transfer from the smaller pot but if you are planting in a very small pot be careful if it is a smaller pot I call it the thumb pot very small pot and the plants are small the roots are very tiny you need to use much smaller size brick break it down smaller in fact they are available but I'm showing here about the ready to uh, plant in the open or in the, in the farm other than uh, nursery. So then it, why you need the bricks? 
not mainly to provide 100% brick as a medium, but this is used for holding the plants that are very difficult to stand, especially the top cuts. Remember I mentioned about the top cuts? If you don't have anything to, to anchor there, I think you, you have problem of uh, having it. See? So how do you stand the top cuts there? You either use a wire, uh, I have a wire just now. Have a wire, <coughs> still you have to anchor the, the wire. But if you have bricks, what you do, you just put two or three bricks in between the plants and then fill up with, with your, this is it's already, it's already planting technique. But more important is where the brick is going to be used. <coughs> Similarly, the stone. Problem with the stone is just like if you sit on the rock or material or stone, if it is too hot, you hit the stone. The, the, the temperature will rise. At night, it is also can very very low or very, uh, cooler than the day. Okay. When do you use this particular type of <coughs> media? This is the sphagnum moss, and this is the coconut husk. Uh, <coughs> coconut husk is easily available. Uh, the best thing is to shred it off the coconut husk and then become also a clump or a pile of moss then you can use the medium usually this is for wild orchids because the requirement for wild orchids is very specific sometimes they prefer a natural product as medium and for this it's used a lot if you are planting phalaenopsis orchid the butterfly orchid because this is a good water retention the husk is too wet, it is too much water uh, retained and then uh, this is uh, a bit drier compared to the coconut husk. Thank you. Thank you for watching our video on orchid. If you would like to know more about hexagon green and orchid growing, check out our other videos in the playlist. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Our orchid farm in Banting, Selangor is open on weekdays to welcome visitors. If you like what we have seen, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Remember, growing orchid is not difficult. We have made it easy. See you next time.